Okay, welcome back to Bounce Around Charleston. Now, we're here to talk with Mr. Christian Miller and Mr. Lamar Moorhead of the Boa Fair. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. And I guess, Mr. Miller, it's that time of the year again to get ready for the Boa Fair and get those guys ready for the rites of passage. Am I correct? That it is. It's that time of year. We're in the middle of our recruitment period. Um, we're looking for high school males. Uh, there'll be juniors or seniors this upcoming school year. Those are those who are eligible. Eligible. Uh huh. Um, any of the tri county schools um, mm -hmm. or any school in the, uh, in the area that's eligible. Okay. Now, when a person has the title Boa Fair, Lamar, what should they be expecting? They should be expecting to have their young man be prepared to become a man and mm -hmm. get ready for their future. A lot of these guys are getting ready to transition into college or into the possibly military service and this program gets these guys ready and equipped with the tools that they need. Okay, when we t use the term rites of passage, uh, can you talk about some of the things that they may, might experience? Sure. Um, during the program, um, some of these, these same programs have been throughout the program since its existence, since 89. Mm -hmm. um, we do an entrepreneurship part. Mm -hmm. um, there's a leadership development portion that's very vital to the, to the rites of passage. Mm -hmm. They learn about how to go out and, and pretty much sell themselves and, and get out there and start networking and meeting people. And um, there's some different things they do with entrepreneurship. You got your leadership development. You got your social etiquette. They learn how to do fine dining and things like that. So Mr. Christian Miller and other men teach you all how to do these things. Yes, sir. Okay. So now, um, Brother Miller, tell us how can one apply to be a boat? Um, they can go to our website, mm -hmm. theboatfair.org, mm -hmm. and applications are available on the website. You can actually fill the application out and submit it mm -hmm. from the website. But I know there is a deadline. The deadline is August 1st, so time is running out, but there's still plenty of time for young men to go out there and apply for the program. Okay, so now parents sitting at home watching the show, okay, my son becomes involved, and they said, now, they've got to be in school studying and learning, so how often do they meet? Well, we meet roughly about two to four times a month. We pr meet primarily on the weekends. On mm -hmm. Sundays is when we have our workshops every other week. Um, workshops last about three hours in time, so there's plenty of time for school, work, and things like that. Okay. Do you need help from the public? Of course. We're always looking for manpower. Mm -hmm. um, if there are other men out there in the community that want to assist us in what we're trying to do, they can also find the elder application on the website. For those who want to donate their time or money, um, they can also do that through our website, and they can also contact us. Now, can somebody recommend a young man for your program? Yes, they can. Um, they can recommend a young man. They can send us uh, uh, his information. Mm -hmm. We'll reach out there and contact him, get the application in his hands, so he can get that back to us. Okay. So now, they said you, you, they call you Mr. Bo. <laughs> yes. For yes. What, what year was that? That was the class of 2000. Class of 2000? Yes. Okay. Yes. So what did you take away with you into the community? Um, what I took with me was a spirit of reciprocity. That's why I'm back with this program. Um, there were some doors that the program opened for me. Mm -hmm. There were some things that I learned from the program and the elders that were in the program that really helped me go to that next level and come out of my comfort zone a little bit and be not afraid to walk into the world as a black man. So what are you doing now? Ooh. Right now, I'm currently the team coordinator at Joint Base Charleston Youth Programs. Okay. So I've been okay. doing that for the last six years now. So you're telling us that the program actually did help you? Yes. Okay, very good. Anything else you want to share with us, Mr. Miller? I just want the young men out there in the community, based off everything that's been happening in our community the last couple of weeks, um, that our community needs leaders. Our mm -hmm. program is mm -hmm. designed to try to produce young men to become leaders, mm -hmm. whether on the big scale or on the small scale. Um, give us a chance. Try it out. I guarantee you the young men that are in the program this year, mm -hmm. 20 years from now, they're still going to be very close. Okay. Um, I was in the program 20 plus years ago, and I'm still close with most of the people that are in my class. Okay. And your deadline again? August 1st, they can go to our website, theboafair.org, mm -hmm. and they can get an application. They can fill it out, sign it, sign it up, send it back to us. Okay. You heard it right here on Bounce Around Charleston, the Boa the Affair, looking for qualified young men. Thank you for being here on Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you. Thank we'll you. be right back with Michelle Lemon right after this break. <laughs>